Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 28th, 2020. We have an interesting day today, so let's buckle up, grab yourself something to drink, and let's jump into the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep. So this morning we have um, kind of an interesting reversal here going on. We have the futures really trying to pop up this morning. It's It was interesting yesterday. There was a virtual parade in the financial news. Now, I'm not a watcher of financial news. I just read headlines and stuff that come across on my phone. But there was a parade of financial um, gurus out there um, trying to talk the market back up saying this reaction was over overdone and that very well may be true um, the simple fact is there's even though the numbers overnight uh, more than doubled we went from like uh, 1900 confirmed cases to over 4,500 uh, this morning. So we had more than a doubling of confirmed cases overnight, but it still may be an overblown situation. The thing that bothers me is all of those talking heads come out, came out and they were really very self-serving in their comments, uh, basically talking up their positions. They didn't like the fact that that one day move wiped out the entire year in their portfolios and they were really trying to convince everyone to get back in the market that um you know that this is overblown while that may be true we still have to focus on the technicals of the chart and even though there um, even had a few of them out there preaching by the low we have to take a look at the price action, the technicals, and see what's really going on here in the chart. Now, the first thing I want to point out here in the diamonds, even though this may be well overblown, let's take a look at some price resistance in the chart. We have price resistance here that we must deal with, and we have a broken trend. So what that means is as we rally back up, and this morning we're looking at a gap up this morning here in the Dow, pushing back up toward that high of yesterday. But as we gap up in the Dow and we push back up toward these resistance levels, just keep in mind we have that doubling right here of that resistance. This is the actual place where another report on the coronavirus, a one of the big earnings um, uh, reports happened to stumble, um, where we would be watching and waiting for that potential of that failure. So keep that in mind. And when you're focusing on um, your trades, make sure you're really focusing on the price action, the potential that could be there. What happens on a day like this, and we get all these folks out here preaching that, oh, this was way overblown and all kinds of things. Well, what they fail to rec or fail to let you know is we could rally right up in here and turn around and drop. So make sure you're paying attention to those resistance levels. Make sure that you're focusing on that price price action. While this may have been a way overreaction to uh, the coronavirus, and I think it probably was, in the same respect, now we have resistance levels above that we must overcome before we get too excited about buying with both hands in here um, so that we don't happen to catch that failure point. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, also a very similar situation. SPY, breaking its downtrend, breaking below some price support levels in the chart. Now, this is kind of a, uh, a weaker price support level, and you can see we're gapping right up into that area this morning. So let's watch this close. As we rally up into this zone up here, watch for that potential if we get more news or something a, a bad earnings report that potential of failing just don't rush back in blindly with that fear of missing out thinking that this is the buying opportunity that you've been waiting for it may be but make sure you're buying the correct price patterns and the, um, you're taking into uh, consideration the risk as we approach those resistance levels. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues also breaking down and popping through 
um, breaking through a little tiny level of price uh, support right in here. Notice we are gapping back up this morning, um, trying to breach right back up into this area. So we we'll want to watch this very closely as we approach these areas of resistance in the chart. Keep in mind that we have some really big tech earnings coming out today. If they report well, we could blast right on through there and the queues could continue to lead us higher. If one of those happened to stumble, if one of those happened to fail or disappoint, just keep in mind that could be that uh, that place where the bears come back. So we'll want to watch that closely. Take a look at the IWM. Now IWM rallied back up nicely yesterday, but was not able to come back up and break back above that little resistance level in the chart. So as you can see, IWM still, we have a broken trend, we have a broken support that we're dealing with. Now the gap up this morning is trying to reach right up here and test that level. So we'll wanna keep a close eye on that as earnings and economic reports come out this morning. Perhaps we can get enough bullishness going that we can breach right back above there, but just watch that closely in case, because we've all seen those times where we get that bullish move in the morning and all the hype comes in there and then we just fall. So so um, here's a couple examples right here, what we call a pop and drop. We gap up in the morning, sellers come in immediately, pushing it down. Gap up in the morning, sellers come in immediately, push it down. So be careful not to get caught in that potential of that uh, pop and drop type pattern. Let's take a look at our VIX. VIX yesterday made a pretty darn big move and popped up above that downtrend that we were concerned about and also popped up above this price resistance in the chart, which has now become price support. Gap up this morning is going to pull uh, the VIX back. But my big concern here now that we've broken through this area is if we happen to hold this as support. I want you to notice right over here, when we broke this downtrend right here, rallied up, we had this messy pullback, and then these selling spikes in here were pretty substantial, so you want to be careful with that. If we happen to hold this support in here, either the support, support right along here or the support of that downtrend, and start to fire back up with some fear, that's where the real selling will begin. Remember, all market sell-offs occur in the very same way, and that is we have that first warning shot, that failure, then we get the rally back. And by the way, the rally back does not have to be a one day, two day thing. It can be two or three weeks or more in that rally back. Any failure of a lower high that's where the real sellers come in. So keep that in mind um, if that occurs. So as we approach those resistance levels in the chart, we wanna be really focused on that, making sure that we're not overbuying at that resistance, just in case that failure happens to occur. Now, right in here, we can see that as well in the VIX. If that VIX pulls back and holds some support in this area and turns right back around, starts back up, that can give us that clue that that failure may be on the way. Let's take a look, and by the way, I'm not trying to suggest that will occur. As a matter of fact, we could just blow right through and, and, and see no fear and everything with the earnings and stuff if the earnings continue to, to come out. Just that warning that we need to pay attention. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see, we reached down here into that bearish reversal zone excuse me bullish reversal zone yesterday with that big sell-off went there all at once so a bounce would not be out of the question here um, a bounce would be pretty legitimate um, at this point so let's watch this area in here let's also keep in mind that we can gap up this can move up into here and turn right back around and come back down so we have seen those uh, kind of moves before here's an example 
down here in this area we get that bounce up turn right back around and come right back down that's running into those price resistance levels in the chart so keep that in mind let's watch that close this morning as these earnings roll out and um, those economic reports um, start to show up in the market now currently futures are really pushing hard earnings are rolling out this morning um, slowly but we're starting to see uh, the benefit of that this morning with the Dow futures now pointing to about a 150 point gap up that is that uh, big move that everyone would like to see in the market but just keep in mind the bigger the gap the harder the fall can come if you chase into that move so focus carefully on the price action in the chart and watch those prices that you're in remember greed can cause a lot of problems so um, just choose your battles very very carefully so with that let's take a look at some of the charts or some of the things that could affect the market um, this morning we have on the earnings calendar to or uh, economic calendar i mean durable goods orders here at 8 30 this morning consensus estimates are looking for a pretty decent number so that should should not have a major effect but it is expected to decline so we'll want to watch that closely this morning um, we have K Scheller Core Logic and we have Consumer Confidence this morning. All of those have the potential to move the market around a little bit. But consensus estimates on those right now aren't expecting any big surprises. So it would be the big surprise that could potentially move us. Let's watch that close. However, I think what the market's going to be much more focused on is the earnings reports. We have about 100 companies reporting earnings today and a significant number that um, are market moving type reports. Take a look at 3M reporting this morning. Now, 3M apparently has missed on its report gapping substantially lower not a good sign here um, uh, being a Dow chart that definitely is a little bit of a problem um, AMD reporting this morning looks like AMD is getting a tiny little gap up this morning trying to move just a little bit higher assuming that is actually a report I think it has reported I'm not a hundred percent sure so keep that in mind um, we also have quite a few um, um, reports like OMCK oh, will be reporting today, hasn't reported yet. We have Pfizer reporting today. Um, we have um, Starbucks reporting today. It looks like they're gapping up just slightly this morning. Um, they were pounded down pretty heavily yesterday just due to the... Uh, uh, closing of stores and things in China. Um, we have LMT reporting today. LMT, defensive sector stock, looks like it's trying to move higher this morning um, on uh, their report. So lots of things like that that we have to think about. After the bell today, we're going to hear from eBay today. We'll hear from eBay. We'll also hear from Apple, the big guy will be reporting today and you can see this is gapping up this morning just in anticipation of that earnings report so keep an eye a lot of earnings reports to be um, aware of a lot of things that could move the market around um, I forgot UTX yeah UTX United Technologies reporting this morning they're actually gapping lower so a little bit of back and forth I'm not exactly sure where all of this bullishness is coming in other than the idea that we kind of overcorrected yesterday and wanting to come back up here toward these resistance levels. So let's watch those close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. The purpose of these videos are to look at those technicals, to think about the details, not get caught up in the hype and the drama of the morning, but to really look at the price action of the chart and try to determine how you want to approach the day. 
I can tell you after 15 years of full-time training, this has helped me so much in balancing my emotions, making sure that I am on the right path rather than getting caught up in all of that drama of uh, the market open every single day. Got myself caught in that for years and years and years, cost me a lot of money and a lot of time. If you guys find this helpful, please also do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Thank you so much for everyone that does that. It, 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 it's awesome, you guys. Thank you so much um, for your support of this channel. It means the world to me. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. Now, let's keep in mind that a lot of these stocks were damaged significantly um, in the last, uh, well, in yesterday's move. And so we're going to have to watch them pretty closely. A couple of the stocks that I thought were pretty substantial in their bounces um, yesterday in that move back up, but take a look at CGC. CGC. Um, had a ugly little sell-off yesterday, breaking down, but tried yesterday to move back up. Ended up pulling back right at the end of the day. But notice it's gapping up this morning. So CGC, some of those um, um, cannabis stocks may bounce right back. They really don't have a whole lot of, um, I guess, exposure um, to uh, virus problems. Everyone who's going to use cannabis is going to continue to use cannabis, I suspect. So um, I would keep an eye on uh, charts like that as they start to bounce back up. Um, charts like Cisco. Cisco got really damaged yesterday, breaking through its downtrend or uptrend and losing that support. And stocks like this have to come off of my list for a while. And let me explain that for a second. When a stock breaks a price support level, I require, before I think about entering those trades again, I require that stock to recover. So for example, we broke trend and we broke this price support. So before I can enter this trade, I have to have a technically correct pattern. That could be something as a rally up and a consolidation that gives me that technically correct pattern, that higher low potential. It could be that rally up and a pull back to a higher low and then buyers stepping in. It could be that full on recovery and that pullback to hold that support and those buyers stepping in. I need to see that resumption of trend come back before I jump on those trades. One of the things I made mistakes uh, uh, with for a long, long time in my trading, and I struggled with this a long, long time, and that is chasing those trades back up into resistance and then having to catch them right at the failure point. So be very, very careful of that. Um, other charts you might want to take a look at. Ulta did a great job yesterday bouncing back up. Ulta, very nice hold of support. Nice bullishness here. Now, don't be too surprised if this still has to wiggle its way over toward the trend in here uh, before that moves on up. But let's watch that close. Um, Ulta, very nice looking chart, very good set up um, in that trade and looking pretty good. I've already taken a look at AMD. Now AMD reporting today, we'll want to watch this pretty closely, but AMD, um, what's important about this stock to me is this is broken out of the 2000 uh, tech bubble high and we're holding up here as support. That's a pretty good sign that a, um, a lot of bullishness coming into this stock. So as you can see, gapping up this morning on their earnings report. Let's watch that in here. There may be an opportunity to pick up something here in AMD now that we've kind of gotten past that report. Stocks um, uh, all over the place um, had all kinds of uh, moves, but uh, gold seemed to be doing really, really well yesterday. Gold and gold miners. This is Newmont Mining. Newmont Mining gapping above price resistance yesterday, uh, popping up in there and getting a little pullback. Let's watch this in here if that rests or pulls back in to hold that new, um, new breakout. And there's that little trend. Let's see if that can hold up in here um, as some of the fears on this uh, virus continue to grow. Gold, gold miners, um, all held up quite well um, overall. Other places um, you could um, certainly look um, 
is a recovery in some of the oil sector stocks. Oil sector stocks got hit really hard yesterday. There may be some stocks out there that give us an opportunity to catch some of that bounce back um, in those oil sectors, but I would be really, really careful with that um, as news of those viruses continuing to expand out. Um, take a look at stocks like Peloton. Peloton, this is one of those um, stocks that can have a cyclical um, kind of environment and notice that it pretty much defied uh, the sell-off yesterday a little hammer nice little follow-through holding above some support levels and notice it's trying to move a little bit higher this morning peloton showing some strength here holding a trend this is one of those things that i'm looking for when we break down we fail at support or at resistance, we cross back over, we pull back, we prove that we can hold in here, and I start looking for opportunities um, in those trades. So keep an eye on a stocks like Peloton. So not too many stocks today, and the reason is because the market is, well, there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of big gaps to deal with, and we're gonna have to be really, really careful with those. Everyone, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you guys so much for watching watching these videos. Remember to click that subscribe button and click those thumbs up buttons, leave a comment, and always feel free to share these videos with any friends and family. Put them out there on Twitter or Facebook. Really doesn't uh, matter. It helps grow the channel, and I want to say thank you to everyone who does do that. I wish you all a great day of profits, and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.